Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. So I didn't really wait for an answer to see if you guys actually wanted to see more of my old art from these old sketchbooks. Um, but So I'm kind of just making this video anyway, so sorry if this isn't what you wanted to see, but I had fun and I like looking at my old drawings because it's a great way to see how far you've come. But anyways, so that's what we're doing today is we're looking at more old drawings I am a little bit older when I did these drawings, so they're a little bit better, but not by much, so don't judge me too hard. <laughs> um, but as I said, they're a little bit better, but still definitely seeing uh, very early on how my skill was. Um, also, if you've been following me for a really long time, you might actually recognize some of these drawings because towards the end, I actually posted these, I think, on TikTok. So uh, if you recognize those, good for you. I'm impressed you're still here <laughs> because those drawings were really something. Um, anyways, let's just get right into the drawings because uh, this might be a long one. Um, sorry. Okay, so here is the other sketchbook. I don't really know why I chose this. This is kind of just like a random book. It's really dirty. I don't know what that's from. But it's kind of just a random book that I just decided was my sketchbook. It's not really meant to be a sketchbook, but that's fine. So we got these lovely dirty pages right here. Starting off strong in my very heavily influenced anime drawing era. But at least I was practicing expressions, you know? Like, at least there was some sort of like practice of, of something different than just like blank expressions, which is good. I continued on the other page. Uh, side view. I don't know whose eyes look like this from the side, even in anime, but you know, maybe it just looks weird because there's like not a nose. You can see I tried to do a nose right there, but I think that might be why it looks weird, but also it could just be weird. <laughs> and then over here, I have just practice. Honestly, don't, these hands are not too bad. I still struggle with hands to this day, so I don't mind these. These faces, I don't know why they're so small. I don't know if you could tell how small these are. Like, literally as big as my finger right there. Um, I don't know what's going on here. <laughs> this is interesting, too, but, you know, I don't know why I made the eyeball indent here, but I was so clear about making the eyeball go the other way here. Who knows, guys? This mouth is okay. Not too bad. These are just lines. I mean, I guess it's all that mouth mouths are in anime, huh? Some more hand practice over here. Not too bad. I mean, yeah, I don't know what this was. This this is interesting. I don't know what that was. More hands over here. Uh, I don't know why I kept drawing this position, because I don't think I've ever drawn a hand in that position since this drawing. Um, starting off strong with my creature creation. I don't know. I had these color pencils that was the only thing I had to color with, so you're gonna see a lot of this color pencil work. I don't know, I think I was just trying to create interesting characters instead of just drawing people, so that's where this guy came from. What are the folds in this fabric? He, what is going on here? They're just lines down his back. I mean, not a terrible body position. Kinda works. I don't know, I'm trying to be nice. Oh boy, okay, so, yep. Uh, spoiler alert, this is what my hair looked like for a long time, so that's kind of why this person has that hair. I don't know why there's a gun in here. I, I, I don't know, I don't know. Also, I don't know what I was thinking with these pants that are just like, uh, they're just like sheets on their legs, I don't even know. But, uh, yeah, I don't know what, like, the position or the expression is for this at all. Just kind of there. And then, even stronger, wow. I don't know what this body position is. Part of me wants to try to recreate this just to see what kind of atrocious position this is, but... Um, yeah, I put a little tattoo there. Uh, it's definitely supposed to be a wave, but, um, I don't know if that really comes across. <laughs> Ah yes, can't have a sketchbook without the l little Japanese practice with my hiragana. Um, yep. 
it, it's it, this basically i mean any actual japanese speakers can correct me but when i looked it up i think i was i looked up like here you dropped this or like here because i guess she dropped a necklace and he's giving it to her and she's saying thank you but i don't know if that's actually what that says so i'm sorry if it says something bad because i didn't know what i was doing i just wanted there to be speech bubbles but i don't know why i didn't write it in english breeze over these next two pages because they're very uninteresting but got this this guy and these guys yeah i don't know i'm actually not mad at this because like this is kind of a hard body position to figure out also this hand is kind of kind of working uh, so is this one actually but um yeah i don't hate this one this one is kind of cute but this one's just boring i don't know i had no flair maybe i still don't i don't know so i hope youtube doesn't you know flag me for this but um yeah <laughs> This was a drawing I did um, because I had a crush on someone at, who shall go unnamed because I do not want to expose them on the internet. But I had a crush on someone and um, obviously middle schooler me didn't really know what to do with this. But um, I don't know what exactly this drawing is because this doesn't look like either person involved me or the person that I had a crush on. So. But this was, um, yeah, I had a lot of pent-up feelings, okay, guys? <laughs> right, and off we go to the next one that's literally the next page. I think I was going for, like, tomboy style because, like, you know, the dress and the fancy outfit, but, like, backwards hat, because obviously, oh, obviously that means they're, like, a tomboy, but <laughs> I don't even know. I don't hate it. It's, it's fine. It's fine. <laughs> Even know what this monstrosity is like this there's so much going on I think it was again me realizing I was just drawing regular boring humans and I wanted to draw something else or something more interesting and I guess that's what this is but there's so much going on there's like this random moon and then like this little swirly design and then like I don't know vines I think and then there's some chains and I don't even know, I think this is like a sweatshirt dress thing. There's something here, I don't know, scars maybe? And then a halo with like, but it's like chain, I don't know. So I tried, I guess, sort of. <laughs> oh boy, okay, well, <laughs> it's not bad, it's, it's not bad. I don't really know why she's kind of leaning to the, I guess her right. I don't know why she's leaning to the side and like, her arm is out, but it, I don't hate it. I like the dress design. It's a pretty cool dress design. I'd wear that. But I don't, it's sad that she's crying. Also, does she have a tongue piercing? I can't even. It looks like she does. Did I know what tongue piercings were at that time? I don't even know. <laughs> Series of sideways drawings because I needed to spice it up a little bit. So we have the, the popular girl for sure. This is definitely... Um, I guess all the popular girls I drew wore dresses and sneakers. I don't know why that was a decision, but yep. And then the not popular girl, <laughs> because, because the not popular girl I have decided is short hair, quiet because she wears headphones and into sports and wears pants, not dresses. <laughs> uh, anyways, uh, interesting child, but I, I, there was supposed to be on a bus, but I only drew the two seats. I didn't draw, you know, the rest of the bus, because it's just them. I don't know what, what this piece was going for, but that's... I mean, from what I remember, that's what this is. And on the other side, we have... Well, I think these are, like, either friends or sisters? I don't know. We're still going strong with drawing, like, one man per five pages. It's going great. Anyways, so this sister is like leaning over and this sister's like reaching for some some cookies, <laughs> obviously. I don't know why her butt's sticking out like that. Personally, when I reach something up high, I do not stick my butt out like that. But you know, maybe I guess if she was trying 
harder she would ah she would actually reach it so i had to make sure that she couldn't reach it also that hand though wow got like a harpy claw over here got another sideways drawing i was really into these i guess um honestly i still like this tiger i don't think i could draw a better tiger now um so i don't i don't mind it it's a pretty cool tiger i think this was like I don't know, clearly she's like sitting there and wants to be friends with this tiger. And the tiger's like, oh, gonna come say hi. Yeah, I don't know. I like, I think I, I did pretty good. I know for a fact I looked at a picture to draw this tiger, so um, I did not draw this from my mind. We all saw my previous tiger in the last sketchbook. So this tiger definitely um, had a reference. And, uh, and, and that's her saying hi. Okay, so um, I don't know if anyone will recognize this person, uh, but I was really interested, or like I watched uh, Johnny Tests a lot when I was younger, and this was me drawing like an older version of him, or like I guess also anime-ified version. I don't hate it, honestly. The guitar is like a crooked, it does not straight right here. But honestly, I don't mind it as a piece. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I don't know why I decided Johnny Test would play electric guitar, but that, you know what? L little me, I have no idea what I was thinking. But I don't mind it. I kind of like the jacket. The spikies are cool. Boy, okay, so we're getting into my, okay, now I only draw men phase. <laughs> um, I had a couple of these phases where I would go back and forth drawing one or the other and I would only draw that and then it would switch so that's this so this has a backstory actually so I followed an artist I still do um, her name is Sakimi-chan she um, she does a lot of NSFW now but when I was following her at the time she did a lot of you know children friendly stuff and a lot of it was like Disney gender bent which is I think really cool still. Anyways, she did an Elsa gender bent, and I was like, oh my god, I want to do that too. And you can actually see the old hair that I put, and then I decided to not. So originally I was going to try and draw her the way she, Elsa the way she drew it, but then I was like, I don't want to draw a girl, ew, I want to draw a guy. So then I was like, oh, you know what, gender bent Elsa. And then I realized it was hard, because her outfit's complicated. And I didn't know how to translate that into a, a man's outfit. And so that's why the cape is covering his whole body. And you can just see his head. He has a eye patch with a snowflake on it, though. So, you know, A for effort, I suppose. And this guy definitely supposed to be sunglasses, but definitely seems more like a blindfold. <laughs> yeah, this is me. I don't even know what I'm doing. Uh, this is not me. I meant... This is me trying to do, I think, more interesting outfits. Um, also, this was a song that I wrote down to remember the title, so don't mind that. But, um, yeah, I don't know. I, honestly, if I only drew people facing directly forward and it was like a full body, the <laughs> I didn't do too bad, actually. Also, I kind of love how I did this, like, the stringies on the side of this. Don't mind it. There's definitely too many, like, folds and they don't look quite right, but I do like this little slit thing. Um, anyways, so that's what that one is. And then over here, there's, like, I was practicing hair, <laughs> obviously, can you tell? But I didn't want to just do, like, regular hair colors, because that's boring. So I picked fun colors. I actually really like this one and this one. I think I did a good job. Uh, not how I draw hair anymore, um, but I tried to draw fun fun things. I don't know, I think it, I kind of lost whatever I had with this one, but all the others are pretty fun. Yeah, I don't know why I didn't do like the faces, I think I was just focusing on the hair. And I had that concept of putting multiple colors in it, so it, you know, looked a little bit more three-dimensional. But yeah, I, I kind of, I still like this page. All right, so this is me figuring out how I like to draw eyes. I kind of went through a crisis, if you know me being, I don't know how old, 15 counts as going through a crisis, but I was trying to figure out how I wanted to draw 
just kind of everything. So I kind of just experimented on, on a bunch of ways to draw things and kind of decided which way I liked best. So that's what this entire thing is. Um, yeah, in my defense, lips using just a pencil is actually pretty difficult and kind of my lips still look like this. So, you know, I, I'm not gonna be too harsh on myself. Also, the eyes are not bad, but they're definitely very cartoony. I think I was trying to do them semi-realistic, but whatever this shine is in it, it really threw it off. And this is me applying all the things that I decided to, to you know, draw it like. Um, yep, it went as well as you thought it did, probably. I don't know why there's like a smaller face and then a bigger face. Don't know why that's a thing, but... Yeah, I don't know what's going on with this nose either. Interesting choices I've made. But yeah, I mean, you know what? I tried and there's definitely visible improvement from, you know, this one to this one. So go me. And me trying another interesting character design. Um, I don't know, it's not too bad. I actually don't mind this. I mean, it's, you know, it is, it's definitely where I was skill-wise, but I don't mind it, and I kind of popped off with the hands sometimes, like, not gonna lie. Some of these, I'm very impressed that I managed to draw hands like that, but... Also, this was me not figuring out how to draw faces from this angle, so I was like, ah, I'll just stick a mask over it and it'll be fine. But yeah, the hair isn't too bad as long as you can imagine a wind blowing from this direction to make it make sense. And then over here, can you tell what show I was really interested in at this time? Um, I was definitely looking at references, so. <laughs> um, but I was originally going to do a like full two pages of just like all my favorite characters. This is, um, oh my gosh, uh, Yukio from Blue Exorcist, and this was gonna be Rin, obviously I started, but then I realized it's really hard to draw a bunch of people on the same canvas, so I stopped. But at least I got Vaughn and Meliodas in there, obviously I gave up on the hand. <laughs> I was like, nope, he doesn't get a hand. Um, so this is another one. I just don't know how to open uh, all these. <laughs> it's just another, another drawing. She's reading a National Geographic. What is that? Say? I have no idea. I cannot read that. I think that says Antarctica. I have no idea what that says. It is really tiny. Um, but yeah, she's she's just sitting in a little alcove reading. I actually had a similar alcove like this growing up, so that's probably where the inspiration came from. Oh boy, okay, so honestly, a hand on a hip is really hard to draw, in my opinion, even still. So I kind of don't hate this. Um, Clearly, he's a dancer. Um, I did not know what I was doing when it came to hats. Hats were like the bane of my existence, but I loved adding them because they just, I don't know, they were helpful if you didn't want to draw a whole face. So, uh, yeah, I, there's not much to say about this one. Um, this is when I was watching uh, Book of Circus, uh, the Black Butler season, where they're at a circus. So that's the inspiration behind this. I liked the main guy's hair. I don't remember his name anymore, but the main red hair guy. I liked his hair a lot, so you'll see this hair come up a lot more. <laughs> all right, and those were all the drawings. Uh, I know, this one was a little bit longer because this was when I started taking drawings seriously, so there's a lot more content to it. But I hope you still enjoyed it. I personally really liked seeing the progress from the early stages to the very end. Um, and it was really weird because some of those drawings, I was like, oh wow, I don't remember doing these at all. But then towards the end, I was like, I remember exactly what I was thinking when I was drawing this. So that was interesting. But I hope you guys enjoyed. I do still have a little bit more. Uh, if you guys watched the first video, there that sketchbook has um, other drawings in the back of it that are from after this time period of this sketchbook. So if that's interesting, let me know. That would probably be a shorter video. But um, yeah, anyways, that's kind of all I have for you today. Uh, I have some speed paints coming to you guys real soon. 
Uh, this is the first time I think ever that I've been backlogged with speed paints, so I hope you guys are excited for those. Also, the donation stuff is still up on my Instagram, so if you guys want to check that out, that would be great. Uh, and, you know, more information and all that stuff is over there, so that would be fantastic if you go give that a look-see. But other than that, that's all I have for you today. I hope you enjoyed this video, and um, yeah, I hope you guys know now that everyone starts somewhere. <laughs> Anyways, um, thanks for watching. If you like the video, consider a like and a subscribe. That is so nice. I get so excited when I see a new subscriber. But um, yeah, thanks for watching and see you next time. <laughs>